In this video, I'll show you what you need to do to adjust the paper settings on your HP Smart Tank 580 model. If you don't have this exact model, but another HP or HP Smart Tank, this should also work for you as well, as the configuration is the same. So you should be able to use this solution to adjust your paper settings. Now you don't need anything for this, just to uh, know where the slider is. So I'm gonna be explaining exactly where that is and how you can adjust it to change the paper settings on your HP Smart Tank. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to go to the back of the printer to where the paper insert tray is. Now at the moment, you'll notice that I have an A4 size of paper installed into the printer. So what we're gonna do is just to remove this for me to explain how to change the setting. Now on the back plate here, you'll see there's a few indentations. Now, these are just to help you know which sizes you'll be uh, putting in. So the A4 setting here, which is what I was using just now, uh, this one is in alignment with the slider at the bottom here. And this is a quite important tool to make sure that when you put the paper in, the paper isn't sliding around and moving as this could cause a paper jam or any other issues with your printing process. So this uh, slider has to be in place before you insert the paper to make sure that it doesn't move around. Uh, similarly to that, if the slider is too far to the right, then you won't be able to put the paper in and forcing it in could cause another paper jam. So that is something you want to avoid. Now we're just going to slide over here to the A5 setting. And you can see that the paper should slide in there nicely. Unfortunately, I don't have any A5 paper to show you, but I'm gonna slide it back to the A4 for you to see exactly how that goes in. So once it's over here, we're gonna just adjust it. And it's quite important to do it before you put the paper in, as if you put the paper in and then slide this over, paper may get caught in the sliding mechanism and end up causing a paper jam, as I said before. So that is in position with the A4, and we're just gonna take our piece of paper and gently put it in. Now, you see here that the paper doesn't quite go in nicely. Uh, this means that I haven't adjusted correctly, so we just need to take the paper out again, move it over a little bit, like so, and then you'll be able to put the paper in. A bit more. And there you are. See, the paper slides in nicely and easy. Uh, that doesn't, uh, it doesn't have to be pushed in. Uh, it's quite important not to push it in as uh, you could push it into the wrong section and then the paper feeder won't be able to catch the paper and uh, pull it into the ink tray. So this is how to adjust the paper setting on your HP Smart Tank. I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave us some comments down below as well if you have any feedback or anything you'd like to see in future videos. I really do appreciate hearing from you. Uh, my name is Pat, this is Printers with Pat. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.